Well, good evening, folks. Our reading tonight is from 1 Peter and chapter 5 and verses 1 to 4. To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's sufferings, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. So this is written to those who would lead in church. And it says that your duties are to watch over the flock, to care for people, to pray for people, to uh, uh, guide people. And you're to do this because you're willing, because you feel called, not to, dis not to get dishonest gain, and so, uh, but to be eager to serve, not the boss, not lording it over people, but being an example. While this is directed to uh, those who would be ministers, it is also useful guidance for those seeking a church or seeking a minister. Look at their life. What are they like? Are they people who want to lord it over, to be to boss people about in every detail of their lives? Are they a good example? Are they living modestly or are they uh, accruing vast wealth at the cost to their members? Are they watching over the flock of God? Are they caring for people? It's a challenge to church leaders, but it's also guidance for who you should listen to, who you should put your trust in. Obviously, first we trust in the Lord himself. But then when we're looking at, to those who lead us, let's look at their lifestyle. If a leader is flying about in private jets, living in a huge house uh, and, and, those, uh, uh, and wearing uh, very, very expensive clothes, that should be an alarm bell to you. If a leader is interfering in even the smallest details in people's lives and commanding people to do this or that, that should be, ring alarm bells for you. Spiritual abuse is real. Spiritual abuse sometimes involves financial abuse and sometimes involves abuse in terms of overly controlling leadership. But those who are leaders should lead as those who are under shepherds, because a chief shepherd is appearing, uh, uh, and he, we seek his approval. We should never lose track of who we are accountable to. Pray for those who, who lead in church. Pray that they will be reminded of this. But also be careful who you trust to lead. Our Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the fact that you appoint into your church pastors and teachers and elders to lead. Lord, we pray for those of us so called that we may, Lord, indeed fulfill these obligations to care for the flock as you care for them. Lord, we pray that we will be humble uh, and keep our eyes focused on wealth to come, uh, receiving a crown of glory, not on wealth received right now. Lord, we pray that you will give a right balance between gently advising and sharing your word with people, uh, which is right to do in watching over people. Uh, but Lord, never let us tip over to lording it over and commanding and demanding that people listen to our every word. Lord, we pray that you will help those who lead in church to be good examples for you. And Lord, we pray that those who receive leadership may choose wisely who they receive that leadership from. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.